So there's a lot of misconceptions about cloud. Uh, it's seen as this mystical thing that just exists. You know, it's this untouchable ethereal thing that's out there. So the risks associated with migration to cloud include the fact that moving it off your network onto a cloud hosted solution can make it accessible publicly to the internet, which could be a security concern if it's not done correctly, uh, if you don't have the right security measures in place to secure it. What's not always clear to people when they move to the cloud is how much it's actually gonna cost me. So they have an idea based on maybe their previous server that they need this, this much uh, resources, and then they move their, their workloads to the cloud and then all of a sudden they thought they were going to be paying X and now they're paying five times that and they don't understand why. Look, you, you're, hitting into, you're hitting these constraints, that's why your system is slow, but we don't recommend upgrading the RAM or upgrading the CPU because we believe this is actually an issue perhaps in your underlying database or in the, in the software. So we don't think that scaling this up is actually the right way to approach this because it's, it's very easy to say, okay, just throw more resources yes. at it, but that doesn't necessarily address the root cause of why it's slow. It's mm. assumptions. Yeah, it's a misconception. That's the big, the big word for me here is assumptions. Because mm. like I said earlier, with this picture of this, this cloud being this infallible thing that's out there, you know, it can never go down. Let's look at last week with this CrowdStrike and Microsoft outage, it very much can. There's this assumption that you know I'm paying money to this crowd, so they, you know, be it an, an Azure or AWS or whoever, I'm paying money to them, so surely they must be doing that. And the truth is, they're not. Microsoft 365, which we, we mentioned, the, one of the misconceptions that, that people have is that yes, I have a Microsoft 365 uh, email domain, therefore all my emails are being backed up, and all my OneDrive and all my SharePoint's being backed up.